How's it going, everybody? Sebastian here, bringing you another unboxing. And this time, something very, very special for all you science geeks out there. I know I'm one of them, and I absolutely love these. I'm talking about the mini museums. Now, a couple years ago, a man named Hans Fex took Kickstarter by storm by releasing the mini museum, an acrylic display filled with treasures from all across time and space. Now, He's come back with the Mini Museum 2, and I cannot wait to unbox this and take a look at it with you together. Now, as for the pricing information on this, these do not come cheap. I got this on Kickstarter for $319, and I, of course, will link you in the description to his website, where you can put yourself on a newsletter and waiting list for when these things come in stock for the general public. These are absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to take a look at number two. Let's get started. Alrighty guys, here we have the gorgeous, gorgeous box. I love this. It's got a nice magnetic latch that holds it closed. Front and center, we've got the Stegosaurus, the Woolly Mammoth, and Skylab. And on the side, looks like we've got the Hell Pig here, the Hindenburg, and a Viking. Very, very, very cool on the top. And bottom, we have a nice minimalist listing of everything inside that's repeating. Okay, let's... Keep the foam down there briefly. All right. Inside we have a quote from Hans Fex, the creator of the Mini Museum. From the moment of the stars to narrative of life itself, everywhere we look, we see the past. By sharing the love of discovery, we take part in an adventure, a personal journey for each of us. It's a process I find very nurturing and hope you will as well. Lovely words. All right, let's get the foam off. Inside, we have the booklet describing the mini-museum and its contents, also its creation, the certificate of authenticity, and the mini-museum itself. Let's pull this out. Nice and easy. Put that center stage for a moment, and let's take a look at the book. So the book has the table of contents for everything inside of it. And it also has photographs documenting the curation process, gathering all the items, and the building of the mini museum. And there's some really, really nice stuff in here. This book is absolutely gorgeous. It's a little bit larger than the first book that came with it, but I love getting that book. And I'm gonna dig into this tonight. Really, really cool stuff. All right, let's move on to the museum itself. Get out of the Ooh, uh, like microfiber bag, very, very nice. It's also wrapped in plastic by the feel. It is. Okay. Ooh, it's got a uh, good weight to it, just like the original. Very, very, very nice. It's got good weight, uh, feels about the same as the original, but I digress. Look at this stuff. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the sheen on this. This is really, really nice. Let's take a closer look. Alrighty, guys. Here we have the second mini museum. Right behind it is the original mini museum on its custom display stand from Sidetracked NSD. I got this on Etsy from Sidetracked NSD. He normally makes tablets and smartphone holders, but uh, I liked the design that he had posted, and I asked to see if he could modify it to fit the mini museum, but we'll talk about that in a moment. Let's get to what's inside. We have some of the asteroid belt, Martian atmosphere, Libyan desert glass, some lava from Mount Fuji, Japanese star sand, Demetrodon spine sail, some ammonite, stegosaurus plate, dinosaur skin, raw emerald, the hell pig jaw, some of the La Brea tar pit, my hometown, also some mammoth meat, which must be very, very bad jerky by now, Neanderthal hand axe, Oasis America, which is ancient ceramics, piece of a Bronze Age dagger from the 12th century. Medieval chainmail, medieval chainmail, my mistake, not Norse or Viking. Shipwrecked piece of eight, petrified lightning. Hindenburg skin from the remains of the Hindenburg. The Golden Gate Bridge. Some of the Olympic torch. The astronaut mixtape from 1973 on Skylab. I gotta read up about that. I wanna know what's on this mixtape and I wanna know which astronaut it came from. We have part of the first supercomputer, the Cray-1. And I'm going to do the last one, the moon tree, which I believe is some of the tree samples they brought to the moon on Apollo 14. But then the second to last 
is the Star Wars Episode Four Kreat Dragon. Now, what is the Kreat Dragon, you may be asking? There is one scene in particular from Episode Four where C-3PO is walking through the dunes of Tatooine, and there is a skeleton of a massive creature sort of uh, moving with the dunes, uh, overlaid on top of the dunes of Tatooine, and it's the Kreat Dragon, and that is a piece of the prop that they used when they laid that skeleton out in the desert, the fake skeleton, admittedly, but cool nonetheless to have. Very, very awesome. This is edition 1738 of 5,000, and it's awesome to have, and I cannot wait to read the book even more now. Now, on to the design. The design of these is actually really, really spectacular. I have no complaints whatsoever about these. Now, the stand that I have was made by Sidetracked in SD, and I will be going back for a second one. The Mini Museum just slides in and angles back very gently. It's a little bit of felt down there. Very, very nice. But let's take a look at these side by side. Alrighty, guys. Here they are side by side. Very, very nice. The second edition is a hair taller, maybe a millimeter or two, and just a hair thinner than the original one. I, I love this. We got the gratitude there. That's a micro film with all the backers on it. But both of them jam-packed with amazing pieces from time and space. I absolutely love this. Everyone who comes in sees these and asks what they are, takes a good look at them, and it is like a mini museum. And that is what's absolutely great about them. You keep the books right next to them. People can flip through it, learn about the artifacts inside. Very, very cool. And they are just gorgeous. They sit really nice on a shelf. And I cannot wait for number three of these. They are solid all the way through. I'm going to spin around the original so you can get a side view of what that looks like. Everything is mounted on a similarly clear piece right down the center of the acrylic. And on the back, it's reversed. But yes, the, the process of doing this is absolutely astounding. I'd like to learn more about how they did it, especially because the piece inside is amazingly crisp. The light passes through these just right, keeping everything preserved. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. These look great on a shelf, perfect for home decor, but also educational in the best way possible. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you'll check out one of these mini museums. Not only are they educational in the best way possible, they make for absolutely gorgeous display pieces, and I know I'll be getting number three if they ever decide to do one. And if you've got a mini museum or you've ordered a mini museum number two, I'll throw a link to the Etsy page for Sidetracked in SD, where I got my custom wooden stand for the first mini museum, and I know I'll be going back to them for my second. He was absolutely a pleasure to work with and got me my stand very, very fast. Once again, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.